So the next thing I want to talk about is basically dungeons. Yes, continuing to be good. Mm -hmm. Continuing to be good. Not quite cooking as hard as before. Uh, let me just make sure my audio probably doesn't blow your ears out for this one. Let's just see. Uh, that muted. I can hear their ears mm -hmm. unblown. Yeah, so you might, uh, just for background stuff, this is our car, the City of Echoes. Now, I don't really know exactly what the context of going down here is, because that's, like, side quests leading to the dungeons aren't there, and this isn't part of the, neither of these dungeons are part of the main story. Oh, right. So far, the only dungeon that's part of the main story is Rookery. Which huh. is disappointing, I thought there'd be more. I mean, given what they've said. Yeah, so unless you go into them at max level, okay, yeah. for a different reason, that's a possibility. Yeah. Uh, cool, I just closed that. Um, and that has to reload, sweet. So, this is the, the one that's just hold W, right? This one's whole W. You go and you get your, uh, you get your four, like the three lieutenants at the start, and you knock them down. You beat the shit out of them, and this is normal. So we are just completely running over, like completely run over. And yes, people are calling it Ara Ara already. Yep, yep. What does Horrible. what does that mean? <laughs> it is the um. It's a sound bite that very heavily mommy characters in anime will use. So it is. I'm just going to conduct some independent research. Yeah. yeah. So, and then we've got the first boss here. And so we've got the webs and stuff from, what's her called? Boss room. I can't remember her name. Uh, Elorinth. Boss room. I was like, oh, there's big Elorinth vibes. Man who has seen one boss room with spiders or spider webs sees another one and goes, hmm, this is very Elorinth. So this boss is just does stuff. Ah, that's literally. that noise. No, it's not. That one, yes. Yeah, that one. I'm good. sure. I'm sure no one heard that, okay, which is good. fine. Now I know. Um, now I know. Yeah. So this is just a boss. Ever so it does slowly something. I'm sure. I don't know what. <laughs> Amazing analysis. Yeah, we just walked right over it. Uh, the next that can be a problem, though. Yeah, it's, it's very we, easy to yeah. uh, slap a boss down before you actually get mechanics. Yeah, we did notice that this is kind of cool. Uh, and could, by cool, I mean people are going to lose their fucking minds. That big mob has a 50% damage duction aura. <laughs> so it is a, you kill him first. You don't just walk in and big AoE. I've uh, been noticing, going, oh, shit. Uh, then we tried a bunch of things like uh, mind controlling and stuff to see if it applied to us, and that did not work, unfortunately. Hmm. Uh, did not work. So you have to like do pulls pretty far, uh, pretty fun around this to try and get to the next area because there's like patrolling around a circle. There's a couple of these guys, so you could have like really just uh, scundered. Uh, this fight is um, I'm gonna call this uh, ranged hell. Oh good. And don't worry, there are melee hell bosses as well. They've decided a um, what if everyone has a bad time at different times is the way to play because you'll see this very very shortly. So oh, that's a neat effect. Yeah. So stay in this. Stay in the, in the circle, please. I was like, "What's what happens?" Oh yeah. Ow. Yeah. And then, oh. And then there's swirly boys, and then there's swirly boys, and there's movie boys, and anyone who's casting is going to hit this with a violent <laughs> passion, <laughs> and rightfully so. Game by this normal. There's probably more stuff on mythic, and there's me just like, "Oh, that's that's a lot." You know, ignore that I'm typing mid combat when I should be pressing death strike, but. That's literally that's literally that guy. He does that. Oh, it's normal in fact, it's on a shockwave are quite nice. Yeah, everything everything looks and sounds great. That's something. Yeah, this room is that's cool. a thing I've noticed as well. Just like the visual clarity is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Laughs in BM Hunter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, well, you're not be laughing when you get your hair talents, dickhead. Um, oh, <laughs> oh. So this is the last part of the City of Echoes, which is beautiful. You've got like <laughs> hell, hell yeah! I love how this is just constantly <laughs> yeah. you fucking riffing off yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's the part of uh, text boxes. I just like man in here is beautiful. This is gorgeous, and it's really short. Just there you go. Uh, it's really kind of a short little, but it's really red and really grim. You'll see some dialogue at the start there where uh, you know it says, "Once my people thrived under the guidance of the Black Empire." Uh, Queen Nefer Neferis refused to reclaim that glory. Neferis is Anserek's mother. Ah. Uh -huh. So there was this succession thing went on here when Anserek took the throne however long ago and Zalathad was like, oh, a queen who might accept yeah. some sort of the gifts of the of the Void and the Black Empire. And so he goes on about all the black blood and stuff, which you see it's red. Uh, you'll see some, a lot of goop when we get to the to the actual, actual boss itself. And... Um, Will we now? Will we? Is that right, yeah, Matt? We will. We will. We will. <laughs> Eventually, we'll get to the boss. 
Eventually, once this player loads uh, this this footage, this is my fault. I don't like clip these like or record them low or anything. I just go whatever. I just get just as high possible recordings I can and just fire them up. Because I'm weird archivist. Good. I'm sure Notion's uh, data center is currently screaming. Yeah, there's like two gig of footage on this page. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that explains everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So this is just like uh, this little run up. Also, I forgot we didn't fight the boss's clip. But it's like, you know, it was just a big corner full of mobs, which feels quite nice. Which feels quite nice. And this guy, the harvester, is our next clip. Dow. If I'm just going mad. It, you can see how big it is because we're very slow when we walk. Like, why does it take us like 10 seconds across? Oh, this? you're a gangly dude. Yeah, he's one of the ascended. Yeah. He's one of the ascended. Big, he, flappy, slappy hands. Yeah, slappy hands. He does some cool stuff, which we didn't really have to see uh, or care about. But you see there's ads coming in that drop the black pools. Yeah. I think we have to use those to avoid getting sucked, but I'm not entirely sure. And Are they, you they, getting sucked? They, no, not yet. But they root you when they grab you as well. So they, oh, root, so okay. they root you in that. And That's you're like, like oh, the shit. spider in, um, yeah. in Vault. But then, just before it goes off, he pulls you in. Ah. Which I think you're supposed to go and yeah. Get stuck to the ground by a bit of blood before that. Good. Which is, for whatever reason, mm. I've always enjoyed those mechanics. Yeah, so there's some pretty uh, nice stuff there. It's like pretty simple. Pretty simple mechanics. This is going to, like, on, on a Mythic Plus, on a Tronicle, this is going to be rough to do everything at once. While well, he's also, like, poisoning everybody and all that kind of things going on. There's a lot of room for. In these dungeons, there's a lot of room for the other things that you kind of. All your utility and all of your different effects and things like that. They're doing that quite well. Uh, you don't have a little error. They just broke this build a bit slightly. So, um... Yeah, do I... Do I show you a little bit? I don't think I do, but you'll see all that in the background. Mm. And that's like... This is clearly below... The City of Threads. Yeah, this all looks... So this is even uh, lower and even deeper. Shall we say narratively relevant? Yeah, so you see the breathing pit... And you're like, man, this just gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And just deeper and deeper and deeper. And there's them harvesting the blood of the old gods yeah. for Zalatath specifically from this. What old god? Do you think this is like the corpse of oh, the, the ancient hunger or the hungering one, whatever uh, it was? It could be. As whether it's a corpse or it's just uncontrolled growth that maybe stemmed from a corpse in a very hollow neck kind mm. of way, possibly. Um, possibly something like that. Yeah. But so that's that. it. Whenever you want your... Uh, your lab-grown meat. It is this. Yeah. Yeah, so... Yum, yum. Next dungeon then. Ah, is good. The City of Threads, which is the polar opposite. Yep. It is not a whole W. Well, it's a whole W. It was a whole W for a lot longer and around in circles loads of times. So we have our first boss who just does the... And there's a... Li the way this is laid out is like a uh, raid. Um, or not raid, a dungeon that's like a uh, city mm. in layout. Does remind me, and this is maybe just because the first boss of uh, Atazavesh does this, but like the you're stuck inside my. I'm gonna the first get boss. the second door. Yeah, not the first boss. The what's it called? The is it the first boss, or the ads that keep you inside the circle anyway. So you're trapped inside the circle while you're fighting this boss, and he throws stuff out. There's not really a huge amount to go on here unless he does some bonus stuff on Mythic, but generally speaking, it is just you're inside his circle while he does stuff. That's the point of this boss, which I, you know, I'm really looking forward. He drops a big puzzle and you have to move as a group out of it as well. Uh, I'm sure there's more stuff, but the dungeon journals aren't all finished with mythic mechanics either, so I can't even just go and check, which is kind of frustrating. Um, I'll say, like, I'm looking forward to trying these in mythic. As soon as they're available in mythic, I'll be yep. right in there all day trying to get uh, see what they look like and feel like. Um, here's the next bit, which is... Uh, this is, like, showing... We got. I don't know if they're randomized or not, because I've only run this once so far. But this one will be a headache. You're 100% Jedi. This was going to be a fucking nightmare, dude. Oh, nightmare. Uh, so you see the, the purple echoes? They lead you to the, you know, one of the eyes of the queen that you have to reveal and then fight. Ah. And then obviously the next boss with fangs of the queen. So it's all it's all finding the queen stuff in the middle. Uh, this guy's kind of cool because of... Um, he teleports away and he's invisible. Literally invisible. Until he does a mechanic. Which is that. Oh. So he actually does properly nothing personnel. For a bit. 
which you can kind of roughly track if you have. Uh, they're they're, sort of they're creepy. Yeah, they're very like they they did the the like assignment correctly of. Yeah, they did. Yeah, here's what would, because v- Nerubians already kind of creepy. So what do you have like humanoid Nerubians that are all voidy? And yeah, like he does a little teleport away. I can see him because of the. Oh, it's not my held. It's um, the other paladin held. The one you can see. So it is, and then there's a. Uh, this is just you do it again. I do it four times. And I don't have the clip here because it would literally be us watching this group run around in circles for five minutes. But this doesn't chain you from one to the next with these silhouettes. You have to find the starting point and then you follow the track. Oh. So we spent a good like five minutes after killing this one just running around and going, where the hell is the next one? Where is the next one? I have a feeling there'll be a pattern to that. The players will quite quickly work yeah, out then. Yeah, almost certainly will be, because otherwise you're just completely scundered. So, yeah, so it took us four minutes. It's long at the clock. It took us four minutes to find the other two and kill them, which was very annoying. And then you have your ally, and he brings you up to the fangs of the queen. And this is just like the kind of the Tazavesh vibes, even though it's just a regular dungeon, not a mega dungeon. Of, you know, you, you actually have to trigger events in the dungeon to go on forward as opposed to just walk through and kill bosses. To do that, you find the, you fight the fangs of the queen up here after Nizrek gets, you know, gets gotten. And these are cool because these are, uh, these are enemies that you meet in, uh, or like the brothers, sisters, whatever, of, enemy, of an enemy you meet in the actual story questing. That is a massive pain in your ass when they appear. Mm. Which is quite nice. You can kind of get the vibes of, you know, the fangs of the queen are on you while you're story and questing for a little bit. Once they figure out your intent. And there's a lot of, like, that's a kind of cool thing where the, it's, you know, nice new visuals. Stuff that all works completely fine. Nothing super to write home about just yet. I'm sure there'll be, you know, actual things to do when the bosses get to the abilities. Because they were doing something there called Synergic Step, which probably would have done something cool. Shame it didn't say it. Hmm. It. And then the transformatory, and you'll see why people might have some issues with what's going on in here. Because uh, there's the grand splicer in here who's splicing things, and no one, no one ever splices things good. You know, it's not like you're a splicer, like oh, like a, you know, like like a plastic surgeon. You might want to call a splicer. Yeah. But if you call the plastic surgeon a splicer, no one would go. At least I think anyway. So you've got all these like kind of weird half done fucked up looking Nerubian creatures which maybe they're normal I'm just being rude um, but they look kind of weird to me this is very insensitive of you man yeah they look kind of weird there's shit ever for some reason I felt the I felt the temple of Siege of Musa Temple when I was doing this no Whoa. the gates ah, the gate one yeah. that's something else you know, the indoor what a cool one. dungeon yeah, you know we run up the inside of the yeah. mountain yeah yeah and then we fight we may we may have may have seen these before I've seen these just a little bit before. The wee corrupted blood bros. Oh. And a lot of, you know, black and purple. Those almost look like the footballs from the football yeah. boss in, uh, <coughs> yeah. in Nylotha. They do, believe it or not. <coughs> and this is the, coag- the coagulation, which I always find hard to say. And I don't even remember what he does because we just, you know, smashed buttons and... He was dead. Oh yeah, you pick up you pick up the orbs. So you, you grab the footballs instead of kicking them around. And then the ground gets full of stuff and then he dies. And you're like, sweet, beautiful, job done. I think I um And then you may see something interesting in this room. Oh. There's vroom vroom. Don't know nice. if you guys can hear that or not. They definitely can hear that hundred percent. hundred percent. Same with sirens. You can hear sirens, super easy. Am I switching? Am I switching? No, I'm not. Cool. Actually, I'll fix it shortly. <laughs> um, I'll fix it after I talk about this. So, look at that. This is the room with the mural in it. Oh. <clears throat> oh! That mural. Yeah, yes. that mural. The one that people are all talking about loads of them. Like, that must be Zaltath. They're like, nah, that's... That's, clearly the, w- that's clearly the one that was there before that gave them black blood. Because, obviously, uh, Zaltath would have been... Would have been you know, Herald my return! My faithful ones. But instead, she went up going, here, I've got a job for you. I've got a deal I can do with you. I'm uh, trying to work out what Salad Hath wants. Um, 
to harbinge the void. Ah, I feel like she's got to want more. Well, then we'll find out somewhat. Yeah. So there's a splasher doing his cosmic voidy things. And we fight him. He's called the splasher. He does a lot of teleportation. T teleportation? Transformation and, like, uses all the other mechanics from the mobs in the area. But beyond that, I don't really know an awful lot of what he does or why. Hammers. Fun to because watch. Because I just... I was like, what's that do? I... Uh, Lips me, and they move around, which is all you know. It's not really an awful lot to show you, to be honest. I'll, I'd maybe run over this a little bit more deeper if it was in mythic mode, but it is just yeah. doing stuff. He's doing stuff, and I can't tell you what the importance of any of it is. Yeah, it's it's not as sort of large and clear as some of the past ones we've looked at. Yep, exactly. Not that oh, I think I may need to declare an ex fucking executive purchasing decision of air conditioning dehumidifiers ah, I see or you could just be alright <laughs> that you could just be alright that is not what humankind has done <laughs> he's building his day little yeah oh yeah no dude wow and I feel I feel sapped I mean so do I honestly um, so do I it is a rough 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 time yeah, a bit unfortunate the way this keeps on. Yeah, I don't know how to fix this if it just keeps this kind of thing. Yeah. Which is we, really we don't know if it's a problem with mix effect or it's if it's... It's probably a mix effect, mix effect problem because it's this kind of thing. Um, but, uh... Well, I wonder if anything else was the Ethernet, would it also be disconnecting? Like, could it, you know, if it could be that mix effect is easily knocked off. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Spooky. There's... It is metal one. Oh. So there we go. Yeah, there we go. We've we've got that dungeons. Um, not as good as last week, but yeah, still but broadly pretty good. And I'd mechanically, it looks like that's just stuff we we need longer fights to actually see what they do. Yeah, I'll be happy with. Um, I'll be happy with more of that. Yeah, I'll be happy like, with just doing these dungeons all the time. To be honest, as long as they get to cook as hard as they can with a mega dungeon, that'll be chilling. I'll be chilling. Out. I'll be chilling out. Thank you.